Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and on this video, I'm going to compare two televisions for you guys. On one side of it, we have the higher-end QN85A that has a ADS IPS panel and it's 55 inches inside. And on the other side, we have the Samsung Q80B, which has a VA panel, which is 50 inch. So in this video, we're going to compare the picture qualities. I'm going to show you guys some demos and a lot more. Now, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe now so you can be notified when my next video comes out. So sit back and relax and let's get started. The first thing I want to show you is the backside of the television so we can talk about the inputs. But at first glance, you can see that both TVs have the very same design. They have that signature Samsung base on them that gives them that floating look to them. And I really like that design. The QN85A has four HDMI inputs. Two of them are HDMI 2.1s for up to 120 hertz gaming, and two of them are 60 hertz. The problem is, is that if you have two gaming consoles like the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, and you have a sound bar, you only can hook up one at a time for the 120 hertz inputs. Now let's talk about the Q80B, which is a very confusing television. And stick with me if you can. If you go with the 50 inch, it is a 60 hertz VA panel instead of 120 hertz. But if you jump up to the 55 inch, it then converts to an ADS IPS panel, which is 120 hertz. Then if you go 65 or larger, you switch back to VA panels at 160 hertz. And I will tell you on the 55 or larger, all the HDMIs are HDMI 2.1. So you can hook a gaming console of any kind into the inputs. Confusing. But honestly, I will give you my opinion about what I think about both of the TVs in just a minute. Now, when it comes to operating system, the QN85B, which is a newer model, uses the newer Tizen 6.5 operating system that introduced one thing that's very important that the QN85 doesn't have, and that's the ability to use calibration. So with the SmartThings application loaded up on your phone, you can then take the picture and calibrate it with your smartphone, which is a pretty cool technology that the QN85 doesn't have. In my opinion, both TVs do have a really good picture quality. And if you've been looking at the BU series or the AU series, I will tell you both of these TVs are leaps ahead as far as the picture quality. Now doing some tests on these televisions, you can tell that the QN85A has much better black levels and it's because that it uses mini LED. As far as the Q80B, it uses direct LED backlights with full array local dimming, which is known as FOD, but you can see that it's not comparing with the black levels that the QN85 can deliver just because of the technology. And I know what you were probably thinking, that this is not a fair comparison because one side of it, I have a backlight LED, and on the other side, we have mini LED. But sometimes I just compare things to show you guys what the differences really are. And it is some noticeable difference when it comes to the two panels. Are they known for blooming and things like that? Yes, I did use the QN85 as my personal TV for a long time. And I was frustrated whenever I saw a logo or at the end of the movie because you could see, you know, all that glow around the images. But I will tell you that when you watch the TV in everyday programming, it looks very premium and it was so bright that I just kind of said, this is what the technology is. So it didn't really bother me. The last thing I did check was a motion test. And in my opinion, both TVs are very compatible. So I don't think you'll have an issue with that at all. Now, I want to let you guys hear a quick sound test so you can hear the difference in the speakers. But keep in mind, this is a recording, but you'll be surprised at the results. So in my opinion, I think both TVs are going to be fine if you don't want to add a soundbar or an external audio system. But I will tell you for me, the Q80B, the sound is just more robust and it's more fuller, where the QN85A is still good, but it's a little more on the teenier side in comparison. Now the last thing I want to show you guys is that I did a little bit of gaming and if you notice right here behind me that the QN85B was showing better colors playing this Dirt 5 game. And I would tell you that both TVs responded very well for gaming.
So after watching this video, as you can see, there's not necessarily a fair comparison between the two televisions. Overall, I would go with the QN series and maybe I would go with the QN 90A or the 90B because those are VA panels. But again, the QN 85A is great overall. And the biggest thing that I noticed is that the colors really pop. The contrast level is pretty good actually overall because of the mini LED technology. So if you have a little bit more of your budget, that might be one that you want to consider. Now on another note, I will tell you guys, I haven't been producing that many videos on this channel. So I'll give you a quick insight of what's going on. Well, first of all, I started a new clothing line. So if you like this new logo, you can order that. Usually in the video uh, area below, you can just click on it and order one. I give you 10% off if you go to the website. So that's completely up to you. But if you guys want to support me, you can do that. The second thing I've done is I rebuilt a 4K editing server because I hired a part-time employee. And the great thing is, is that this server, I ran everything with 10 gigabit ethernet. So I'm actually uh, able to edit 4K on multiple computers that I have behind the scene. The third thing that I've done is, uh, you notice that the lights are gone. It's because sometimes this room gets a little hot. They kept falling off and peeling off, so I just removed them, so that's gone. And the last thing I will tell you guys is that I've been rebuilding my website. So if you guys wanna kind of see everything grouped up with playlists, they'll be built out as well. So hope you guys enjoy these updates that I'll let you guys know in advance why I've been producing that many videos on this channel but I do have uh, a few TVs left here and we're gonna be making some more videos and producing a lot more content. Oh, and one last thing, I do have a second channel that I've been starting to pr uh, promote videos on called Texty Tutorials. And you can find that on YouTube, just type in Texty Tutorials, but that channel is for me to go through all these older TVs that I have here. I'm gonna make about five to seven videos on those televisions and start getting rid of them so we can get ready for 2023. So uh, that's a lot to be said, but I hope you guys enjoyed the update. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.